Okay, Frank again. Now today I'd like to show you how to do a simple chroma key green screen. A over B is two layers. There's a background and a foreground. Your camera is the foreground. The green screen is the background. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, now it's not real complicated, but you have to follow certain steps. So I want to show you a couple things. Um, for instance, I want to show you this. So this is my green background that I've got, and uh, you can see it's fairly even. But look, there's a little bit of over here, it's like a little darker than it is up here. There's a little place in the corner we can correct. So I want to show you how we're going to do that. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go, and in order to create a chroma key background, we have to have an effect. So we have to go to one of our mixed effect buttons here, which is uh, ME1, 2, 3, or 4. So we have four different uh, channels where we can actually do mixed effect. I'm going to put mixed effect 1 uh, up on the main bus, program and preview bus. But now what I'm going to show you is we have to go over here to the four tabs, which is ME1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to click on ME1. Now you'll notice what happens is there's another bank of, of, uh, of uh, buttons that appear. So you have a uh, A bus and a B bus. A is your primary uh, layer, which is your layer on top. So that's going to be the camera. B is your background layer, which is going to be whatever you're going to put in the background. So I'm going to use camera two on A bus. And I'm going to use graphics one on my B box. So uh, once that's set, I can actually close that now. I can close my mix effect bank by clicking on this on the uh, blank space down here which says mix effect because that's already set A over B. Now you say, well, I don't see anything, but we still have the green screen to contend with. I want you to look over here now. And the camera that we're using is camera two. So if you click on the gear, you will get uh, uh, a page will open and it will say there's input tab, image tab, and automation tab. Well, we're going to use the image tab. And if you scroll down to where it says live mat, we're going to click on the drop down arrow. And here is the information that we're going to need to make this work. So the first thing you're going to do, or the first thing you're going to notice, is that there's a little swatch, color swatch. You're going to mouse over it. When you see the little uh, mouse change to like an eyedropper, you know, click, keep your, click, keep your left uh, click down. You're going to go up here into the green area. And uh, um, usually it's somewhere we're going to be near where the, where the talent is or where the students are. So I'm going to let go of that. Now you'll see what happened is my whole screen behind me is, is black, which is actually transparent. So it's going to be black. So let me show you. We still don't see anything, right? Well, now what I'm going to do is go back and close this little here. Then I'm going to switch from my ME1 and I'm going to select in graphics one, which is where I chose the graphics package. So let me go back to ME2 and there's graphics one and there's my, my camera. Now you still don't see it and there's a reason you don't see it. There's one other step you have to do. I know this seems like a lot, but once you do it a couple times, and then once we complete this process, you won't have to do it again the next time you open up the, uh, the session. It'll all already be set for you because it'll remember everything that you did. The only thing you may have to do is just tweak up a little bit of the green and clean it up a little bit, but it'll already be there. So do these a couple times and you'll see it's not that complicated. So now what I have to do, over here in this area where it's the uh, effects uh, box, I click on that, and now I have this pops up. Now, if you notice, these are effects. So remember, it's called a mix effect. These little buttons here are mixes. 
they're dissolved, spades, uh, <clears throat> uh, cuts, things like that. That's that's a a a, a, a mix. <laughs> now the effect is going to be what we're going to work with. So if you look down here, you should have a two here already. However, if you don't, mouse over, click on the plus. And you will see in this column here where it says live sets, we will go down to what's called default. Now this will show you the different layers. So we're working with a two layer set. So we're going to go two, okay. And then and then there's our two layer set. Now, now, now the effect will work. So I'm going to close this again. And let's say I was in camera one. And I'm over here on camera one, and I'm ready to. And I have mixed effect one in my previous screen. Now, when I do the effect, when I do the uh, fade or dissolve, it brings up the mixed effect. So you can see behind me. So I'll give you a full screen here. So you can see behind me. As long as the screen is pretty much evenly lit, and you'll see over here too. It's pretty evenly lit, but over okay, over here. Oh, this thing is backwards. So forgive me. This you see a little fuzzy there, right? So I'm going to show you how to clean that up. Go back to our camera here. Click on that. Down here we see a little, and back to live mat, and you'll see a little thing called tolerance. Mouse over where it says tolerance. You'll get a double arrow. Click and then drag left or right. Now I'm going to show you a full screen and then show the effect. So I'm going to click and I'm going to go left or right. So obviously that's the wrong way, right? So I'm going to go the other way. And you can see I cleaned up that little fuzzy down there. Now if you go too far, you're going to disappear too. So just make sure it's just a little bit there. And again, the, the trick and the key. To the whole thing is a well lit background. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to live shot. And that's how you do it. I, I hope that wasn't too complicated. Okay, thanks for watching.